Hey everybody, welcome back to the Yoki Twister 66 Garage. Today we're going to talk about this. It's my phone mount that I use on my Scout and we're also going to put one on the Harley. So I've got a bunch of different doodads that I ordered, uh, different ways of attachment and mounting. So stay with me and we'll take a look at how this all goes together. Thanks for sticking around. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe. It costs nothing and it really does help me out. For those of you who have seen my videos before, thanks for coming back and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and as always, hit me up with some comments or questions. I love corresponding back and forth with the viewers. So it's the middle of winter here in central Oklahoma. Some days we get are really beautiful, some days not so much. Last Saturday, we had a beautiful 70 degrees Fahrenheit, just an awesome day. Typical Saturday here at Pops. And then a couple of days later, it looked like this in my backyard. The worst was a little bit later that evening. Take a look at my swimming pool equipment. So it's too stinking cold to ride today. Uh, let's do something else. Let's talk about this Ram phone mount. I love this thing. I've got some pieces, so let's unbox this stuff and I'll show you what each one is and then we'll talk about mounting it to the bike. Okay, so here's the first thing out of the box. Uh, this is the, the piece that you, uh, that you actually saw that I was holding up and here is the tag for the identification. Okay, here's all the pieces that came out of that bag. Uh, the first one is the main, this is, this is what actually grabs your phone. This is spring loaded, um, it's pretty stout. And then this piece, this fits on over the back and wraps around your phone. And uh, this to me is the lifesaver. You know, I really don't think I would need it. Actually, I forgot to put this in place a couple of times on my other bike and uh, I had no issues, the phone stayed perfectly secure, but I just love this peace of mind. I like things that hold together mechanically. Uh, here is some, uh, some glue. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna use this. I never used it on the other bikes, so, uh, but it's in there in case you need to use it. The next package is the Ram handlebar mount, three quarter inch to one inch with a one inch ball. So here's the tag for that. Okay, and in this bag came these pieces. These are what actually clamps to your handlebars. Uh, this has uh, got some little adapters in here or some spacers uh, if, you've, you know, if you need to take up the gap or anything. On my particular handlebars, I don't need any of these, these spacers. Here's what they look like. Uh, also in this bag is an Allen wrench and a couple of nuts and bolts uh, that you'll use to affix these parts to your handlebars. It also comes with this 3M tape and this is what you wrap around your handlebars to protect it from these clamps. And here's the final piece of the puzzle. This is what joins the two other pieces together and here's the tag for it. This is the Ram double socket arm for one inch ball and basically it goes one ball on this end, the other ball on this end and it got a simple clamp. So on your handlebars it will sit in here. And then your other mount will fit right in the other end. So let's take a look at the bike and see where we want to mount this. So my first decision was to decide where I wanted to mount this thing. I could put it over here on the left, 
but I've got some plans for that in the future, so I don't think I want to do that. Another option might be down low uh, over here on the left-hand side, but uh, this cable gets in the way, so there's some interference. I don't like to have anything interfere with it, so for me, the most logical place is to mount this right here. Since we've determined this is going to be our mounting spot, the next step is to check out the length of our uh, 3M tape to make sure it's not too long. We don't want to overlap. Okay, I've peeled the backing off of the, the tape. I'm going to put it in place. And I want it about a half inch or so, three quarters away from, from this edge. Just wrap that around. Don't want it to overlap. And that's good. Okay, the next step is to put the clamp on. Now, if, you were, if your bars were, were too narrow for this, uh, then you would put those spacers in there, but mine are not. So mine are just right. And plus with the, the width or the thickness of this tape on there also makes a difference. So uh, the bolt, the bolt goes down the top, the nut goes on the bottom, you can just kind of hold it there, get the supplied Allen wrench, and do the same with the other bolt. Now before you get it completely tightened down, that's when you want to position it, but get, get your nuts and bolts started. Okay, it's loose. I want to just position that where I want to both side to side and also my angle up and down. I want this pretty much just in line with the, with the rake of my, of my handlebars. So that looks pretty good to me. Now we're just going to tighten that thing up. Okay, now put the final tight on there and we're ready to put the rest together. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to put this rubber thingy, you want to slip that over the, the ball in the back, right in the middle hole. So it looks something like that. Next thing you do, you take this piece, you unscrew it to where it's wide enough to where it, it slips over the ball. And then, of course, it fits right onto that one. Now, it's a little bit loose, so snug it down just a little bit. The beauty of this setup is once you have this down, you can pretty much move this thing wherever you want while it's loose. And then you simply just lock it down by, by screwing this, this thing closed. So now it's ready for the phone. Okay, and to put your phone in, you simply... Squeeze the thing down, slide it in there, make sure it's in place, grab the rubber things from behind, pull it up on each corner, and you are ready to ride. Like I said, there's been a couple of times when I've forgotten to, to pull this rubber thing over and, uh, and secure the phone. It's actually extra secure. I had no problems. Uh, it, it ran just fine. Uh, did not even act like it was going to fall out, but this, this holds it really great. So anyway, so there you have it. That's, uh, that's the deal on the, the Ram phone mounts. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit me with some comments. I appreciate you joining with me today. This is Okie Twister 66 signing off from the garage. Till next time, be safe, have fun, two wheels down.